Hi, I'm Niall from Gulfstream Boat Sales. Today we're at a client's house to show you his um, meticulously maintained Sea Ray 185 Bowrider. It's got a 4.3 litre engine, so it's a fantastic uh, ski boat. Uh, and the, the condition is, is, is great. It was built in the year 2000. It's only had two owners from new. Um, and yeah, the, the condition throughout the boat, both cosmetically and mechanically, is, is excellent. I, I know I always say this, but the most important thing about buying a boat of this, at this sort of age is condition. It's all about the condition of the boat and how well it's been maintained throughout its life. And I, I'll only get involved in selling boats that I know we can uh, send out the door and be confident that it's going to give you uh, years of trouble-free use. And this one uh, ticks all those boxes. Um, but I'm going to take you a walk through the boat, show you around the engine, show you all the features inside, uh, and you can see for yourself how good this one is. At the stern here we've got a, a nice big integrated swim platform and a centre uh, ski toe point as well as a three step stainless steel board and ladder. Um, and being a sea ray everything's all stainless steel um, and uh, the quality is really good. With, uh, like I said it's got a Mercruiser 4.3 litre V6 uh, 190 horsepower engine on an Alpha 1 stern drive. Um, the stern drive although it's show, showing some minor signs of, uh, uh, of, of surface uh, corrosion uh, the condition is very good. This is normal for this sort of age. It's only ever been used in fresh water. It's always been wintered out of the water um, and the condition is very good. It's uh, running a, a high five stainless steel uh, propeller. So it's a five blade prop um, which is fantastic for water sports. So if you're running with a full load of people in the boat this will still uh, pull uh, mono skier out of the water without any problems whatsoever. Um, the hull bottom itself it's anti-foiled with black anti-foiled paint and the condition is, is very good throughout. The whole the condition of the, of the, the full exterior of the boat is excellent. Um, there's a few minor scuffs and scrapes on the gel coat and it probably could benefit from a, a little compound and polish just to bring back up the, the full shine but but it's a real honest boat uh, and very straight, never been interfered with and always been uh, been looked after well by the by this owner who's had the boat for... Um, the, the boat was one year old whenever the current owner bought it so so he's had it for the last 10, 11 years, um, and uh, it's always been been very good too. Uh, just one note on the on the stern drive is uh, the boat has been maintained um, every year by our own uh, engineer, uh, and last year it had the the bellows replaced and also the shift cable. So that's something that you always have to be careful of on a certainly on an older boat to make sure that the, what sort of condition the bellows are in. Um, so this boat, having had that work done, uh, they'll be good for another three or four seasons uh, without any problem whatsoever so um, that's a real bonus as well. Um, whenever you come on the boat the first thing that, that strikes you is the, is the space. For an 18 or an 18 and a half foot by rider there's bags of space in this in this cockpit. We've got a, a port side lounger, a back to back lounger uh, on, the, on the passenger side of the boat. We've got a single helm seat then on the starboard side uh, and we've got two jump seats either side of the engine box uh, at, the, at the stern. Um, I like this layout. A lot of these boats you'll find with the twin back-to-back -back seats, but I think that that um, you never really use those seats, and it also robs deck space. So I think this is the, the perfect layout on a boat of this size because you've got plenty of deck space for a cool box or a picnic box, or if you're uh, out skiing and kneeboarding or wakeboarding, you can throw all your water sports gear there and leave plenty of room on the on the floor for moving around the boat. So I personally I think this is a, a fantastic layout. The upholstery in this boat is top-notch condition, really exceptional for the for the age of the boat. There's no rips or tears. I think maybe I find maybe one little area just on the on the gunwale down there, but apart from that, all the actual seats themselves are, are in very good condition. Um, across the transom, the uh, the two jump seats lift up and they slot in to make a full width sun pad across the back of the boat. And this uh, port side seat also reclines out into a full sun lounger position as well. So. Um, you've got plenty of options for, uh, for sun lounging on the, the sunnier days that we get. Um, moving forward from the helm then, we open the, uh, the centre windscreen section and it takes us out into the, the bow area which is again a really good size, nice uh, deep set seats in there so you feel like you're sitting down in the boat. There's hand holds and cup holders at each of the, the seating positions and you can easily fit two adults up there. Or, uh, or three kids. The whole bow section is, is fully fiberglass lined um, and uh, all drains down into the bulge of the boat. 
we've got marine grade carpeting throughout the throughout the cockpit area. Uh, it's stain resistant. It's all in very good condition as well, um, and it's it's totally dry here. I'm, I'm walking about my my, uh, my socks on a on an autumn's day after a period of heavy rain, and the covers have done their job, and the, the whole boat's nice and dry. No ev no evidence of any, any mildew or anything, uh, and it really is a credit to the to the current owner of this boat that he's kept it in such nice condition. Uh, another thing that we should point out about the boat is that the storage is, is great. Under the, the, for, the forward bow seats, we've got uh, gel coat lined and drain storage lockers um, that the owner uses to keep the anchor and ski ropes and things in. We've also got another locker just right at the front for keeping an anchor rope with chain or whatever in, out of the way. Um, we've got a huge big ski locker under the floor. Oh. We'll set a skis in to, to prove the point. Um, and then we've got stories underneath the, the port side lounger and down in the gunnels as well. We've got cup holders dotted throughout the boat um, and all the uh, all the little cubby bins are all they're either gel coat lined or they're carpeted uh, and all the the upholstered panels are in very good very good condition. Um, so there's yeah there's plenty of storage um, throughout the boat. Um, this Sea Ray 185 is a very uh, sporty uh, driving position. Um, the seat's fully adjustable forward, forward and back, and uh, for height. Uh, and we've also got, um, and the, the steering wheel is nice and easy, easy reach. There's a full range of marine instrumentation, all of which is is working. There's no fog on any of the gauges. Everything looks uh, like new on the dash. And we've got our 12 volt switch gear here as well. Again, all the equipment, every single piece of equipment is, is fully operational in this boat, um, which is, again, just a sign that she's been really well looked after. Whenever I'm sitting at the helm position, I've got really good visibility out the front and the side, uh, and we've also got a big water sports mirror here as well, so that the, the driver can keep a, an eye on the uh, uh, on anybody out the back of the boat. We've got a, a nice bolstered armrest at the, the throttle, and the throttle, uh, it all feels really good and tight. Um, again, the cables are all in good condition. Uh, and you can really tell, I mean, this boat has never missed a service um, throughout the, the current owner's years of ownership and, and it, it tells, I mean, this is the result of a well-maintained boat. Um, so yeah, absolutely nothing to, to worry about here. Uh, engine access, um, again, it's well thought out. If we lift up the, the sun pad, first of all, we've got access to the, the bimini frame. Um, so that's for the spray hood on the boat. Whenever you're not using that, it stows, it's got a dedicated storage space just behind the, just at the transom here. And then to get access to the engine, lift out the seats on either side. And the engine box is on its own uh, stainless steel hinges there, so it just hinges forward. The engine is a Merc Cruiser 4.3 litre V6, 190 horsepower stern drive. Um, and it's immediately obvious that the condition of this here is fantastic. Um, there's virtually no signs of corrosion on the engine. Um, all the cables, they've all got fresh grease on them. The engine's just been recently serviced. Uh, we've got a, a full gear lube uh, bottle there as well. Um, and the, the belts, everything's in, in, in top condition. And you can see that the bilge is clean there as well. There's no oil stains or anything on the bilge. Um, no water marks or anything. Uh, and it's just, all this points to uh, a really well looked after engine that you give years of trouble free use and the performance uh, is fantastic. It's also quite a big engine for the size of the boat so um, it means that you can cruise it at easily at about a third throttle and uh, fuel economy is fantastic as well. Uh, we've, taken, we've just taken out the, the, the spray hood here and put it up on the boat as well to show you. The owner has, has never used this cover and it, it's like brand new uh, condition wise and it makes this boat, as well as being a great ski boat, it also gives it the versatility that you can use the boat um, whatever the weather and it's a nice little day cruiser as well if you're um, spending a, you know you can spend the full day on the on the lake have your picnic ski in the afternoon and if it starts raining just put up the the spray hood and you can get back uh, in the dry so hopefully that gives you an idea of how nice this uh, Sea Ray 185 is if you want any more information about the boat or you want to arrange to come and have a look at it please don't hesitate to Drop me an email or give me a call and I'd be delighted to have a chat to you about the boat. Thanks for watching.